Hello everybody, it's May the 5th and I come outside to do my daily exercise which today will be another one of these virtual races. Now today is only going to be a mile, this is organised by the British Miners Club that I'm, I'm involved with, I do involved with their website and I've run numerous races over the years, especially when I was younger, I haven't done them for, for a while. So it's my, my first BMC race for, oh well, it must be a good 15, 20 years I think. So I've, I've identified a course which is like a mile straight heading back towards Hinchley Wood, so I need to run about two miles to get to the start. And um, there's a bit of wind outside, it's a bit cold, so I put like a longer sleeve top on to see uh, how we go. But I uh, hope I have a bit of a wind behind. There's like a feeling there's a segment almost for the entire mile course. It's about, it needs about a 520 miles. So if I can get anywhere near that, I'll be pleased. Okay, so let's get this jog going and we'll see you later. Bye. Okay, almost a mile into the warm up, just past Silverton Golf Course. About to go underneath the A3, heading towards the uh, start of this mile. Got another mile of uh, Warm up to go, I think. It's only a bit of a chill in the air tonight. I've got the trusty old next percent I used in my marathon and, and in the 5k time trial uh, beginning of April, so undoubtedly my fastest shoe for this type of run, I think, at the moment. So let's get this warm up done. I'll see you a bit later. Bye. Okay, so we arrived at the uh, start point of this segment. Uh, it's a mile back to Hinchley Wood that way. I'm outside St Mary's School in Long Ditton is the place. So I've got, uh, as you can see, it's pretty much dead straight. Uh, it's something that's slightly downhill to start with and it might just gradually go back up at the end, but I think this is a, a fair course. Now the wind does seem to be slightly to my advantage, which is uh, why I was picking this direction rather than the other way. So I'll get a few strides in now and we'll get this going in a few minutes. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, some strides done. I've run 2.4 miles so far. I was going to stop the watch. So I've got a fresh uh, clock on this one. I've got two watches on it. I don't left my phone at home in a po pocket for the GoPro. So obviously I won't be on this because this is a bit too fast to get the GoPro out halfway. But uh, I'll see you in Hitchley Wood in a few minutes, hopefully. So we're done. I think I'm done in actually. I was kind of harder than I thought it was going to be. I get a full effort there. I think it's about a five, just under a 5.30 pace average. So I sort of started off okay and then got to about halfway thinking, oh, it's a long way to go here. I haven't really done anything like that for a long time. So probably didn't this last summer when I did a mile about the same time on the track. So yeah, not too bad. It was a perfectly f uh, fair flat course. I think I was very close to the course record. It might come down to the second. So I'll have to wait to get back home and have a look on the, uh, on the website, I haven't got my phone with me to download it. But we're here at uh, Hinchley Wood Station. Uh, Claygate, where I live, is the next one down. But uh, yeah, it's a nice, uh, nice course. I actually forgot that they closed off the road halfway. They're doing some gas works by the uh, Shell Garage on the main uh, main road that goes through Hinchley Wood up to the A3 in Tolworth. So I mean, it's perhaps a bit quieter than normal. And of course, everyone's be indoors anyway so we'll just circle around i'm actually now at hinchleywood station uh well the trains obviously still going but uh, very few people on them so i'll stagger back now and i'll see how i've done uh, on the website i hope i've got the course record after all that effort i was going to need to do that again all right see you later then bye okay so at the end of my road which is um just where red lane starts and there's a little group of little climb that goes on for about a minute it's like a nice little segment up there so i've had a few ding dong battles with people up there i've done absolutely flat out effort one of my best runs for a while and i think uh so i'll be worried about if anyone comes along and has a go at that one because uh, that was so painful even for less than a minute probably more painful than that mile even though i was trying flat out on that one so let's go inside and see how we go okay see you later bye Okay, so we're back indoors now. Strava was a bit slow tonight, so it took me a while to uh, upload the run. So here is the warm-up. Um, two and a half miles in total, which was about just uh, just, to, just over two miles um, of actual running. And I did a few strides when I was um, at Long Ditton, where I started from. So moving on to the run itself. And I felt a bit sort of mixed emotions about it. So... My time for the mile, what I did is I just did this segment, um, which is just literally 
pretty much exactly a mile. It's 0.98 miles. So I took my lap split as my mile time. So it started just before the segment started and ended just after it. So if you look here, I'd actually run 1.03 miles in 5.37 at a pace of 5.27. And my auto uh, mile uh, on the Garmin reached a mile at 5.27. So um, I managed to pick up well, it's a one and a half course records on the way because um, the longer one, which is this main one here, that's the one I was sort of aiming for for the actual mile segment. So if we have a look at that. So I actually managed to equal it. There's a guy called Alex Reed beat it, uh, did 5.21 as well um, three years ago. I think he's more of a cyclist. I don't really know if he still runs, but he's obviously a pretty, pretty good runner. And um, so it goes from that sort of junction there in Long Ditton um there opposite uh st mary's school basically all the way back to hinchley wood uh, near hinchley wood station where i did a bit of the uh, video and just um finished on that just uh, uh, that uh, intersection there with manor drive so if you look at my um compare i think i started this a bit quick so <laughs> um so if i compare it with alex's time apart from the bit where we got going so by halfway i was like seven seconds up and then i slowly ebbed away until we dead heated at the end so i was just i did feel like i got to about halfway um that sort of junction there i think what's that road there called um angel road um i did sort of feel like i was not used to that these five five and a half minute efforts but i, I kept it going pretty well um so if you look at my um, paces there, I was sort of going, started off around about five minute pace, even just a bit under. And uh, if you look at this bit here, it just sort of slowly ebbs away until I'm doing about five, <clears throat> maybe about 5.30s there. And then towards the end, it sort of slightly drags up at the end. So I think the overall, in fact, the overall um, elevation is basically sort of slightly uphill actually. So um, maybe that's a factor um and then yeah i think by the end i was down to about sort of 540 545 pace but yeah just hanging on for dear life here yeah you can see my pace is was dropping off throughout so uh oh well it doesn't matter you really ought to go for it haven't you so somebody's made a comment great effort well done tim thanks darren but uh minus consolation that i took another um CR for like half the distance, um, which I think I'm to, I think this is perhaps I'm not sure if that pace is quite right. Five by nine seems a bit quick, but the guy in second, he he probably be back to claim this tomorrow. But Ollie Garrod, he's uh, he's been mopping up most of my segments around the way, so nice to take a few back from uh, one back from him while I can. So um, uh, he did that one in January. Um, I think he's probably just doing a jog for him. <laughs> but, uh, four seconds up, yeah. Oh. So what was he doing on this run here? Threshold testing out the hammy. So he's had similar problems to me with dodgy hamstrings. He certainly hasn't got any hamstring problems at the moment. He's been banging out ridiculous miles, 100 miles a week, and about 40 segments, uh, 40 CRs a week. Um, I've claimed a few back from him, but uh, I have to go absolutely flat out, and I think he just coats along. But anyway, so yeah, to expect to see him tomorrow out on this one, I expect. Uh, and there's a few other people could probably take this. So. Um, so if we go back and have a further look at my run here so yeah i started off sort of at some just around about five pace just under and then this graph is going up and i'm slowing down so it's cadence started off <clears throat> sort of in the mid 190s and then as i got slow it dropped off a bit um down to 188 so I think you know, with these mile efforts, you really need to have practice. When I was a track runner, you yours used to uh, have to have two or three races early season to get a hang for the for the actual racing them again, especially as you come out of the winter. And I don't forget, I've come out of the back of doing a marathon end of February. Um, so going from running a marathon to running a mile flat out is kind of different. And uh, yeah, you can see from the heart rate, I got it up to heart rate pretty quickly, and then it was pretty flat from then on. So my max these days is 160. So in theory, I've got a lot to spare here, but I think the, the lactate, lactate in the legs actually took over before the heart rate. So you get to the point when this sort of runs where 
you just can't get your heart rate up anymore because you're fighting the lactate trying to keep it going. If you have a look at the other segment, uh, I think with this one, I think we've seen a little opportunity to uh, cut a bit of time off. So, yeah, so the actual segment ends there, but if you do the compare here, so I was actually 13 seconds up on Oli, uh, Oli and I think he maybe went right up this road here. Must have still matched on, uh, on Claygate Lane. So if you're looking to cut a bit of time off these Strava segments, then yeah, if you don't, don't quite do the full segment, you can... So I was 13 seconds up there, and then by the end, because he went the other way, he was six seconds behind. But uh, So uh, that would be another thing to bear in mind if I have to turn and fight this one back. But uh, yeah, so slightly annoying to... Uh, uh, equal the segment time on the main one, but a job well done. 5.27 mile for me. Uh, I'll take that. I did 5.32 on the track last um, summer and 5.03 in 1500. Obviously in proper races, and this was just a solo effort on a sort of a chilly day. I mean, obviously the wind was helping a bit, but it was sort of quite cold. If you look at the analysis graph of the, uh, the segment, you can see actually it started off at like 49 feet and it ends, the run ends slightly higher um well, that's quite correct i don't know it felt pretty flat to be honest but um certainly maybe that's why i slowed down a bit at the end because um just a very gradual he also used fighting fatigue and a very slight rise in the incline um anyway so evenings work well done better have me tea now it's a bit late so hope you found that interesting and uh, look forward to seeing the next one okay bye